We might do German volume next week. Oh, Just, God, uh, oh, God but it's light. It's light, isn't God, it? God, no. 10 of 10. 10 of 10. <sighs> and that's after the warm up. All right, so each person have got different goals. Yeah. I think we need to discuss the difference between possibly both our training, because like for me, boxing background, I like to see my abs back. It comes and goes. I want it there permanently. What's uh, your goal then, Joe? What's your... My, my, my goal would be to get the body how I used to look when I was boxing. Now, I know there's a massive age difference we're talking about. What, the last time I well, had a fight? Well, you're 40 now. <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're talking about what? Uh, 12 years. All right, so 12 years. Do you know what I mean? I'm 33 now again. I'm 34 this year. So 12 just, years. You just want to be... You just want to get uh, a the good body. Pacella. You just want to get a good body. <laughs> you just want to go for aesthetics, or are you trying to get stronger too? I, I would say a bit of both, because... I think it sort of comes hand in hand. What's your priority though? My, my priority right now would be aesthetics. Okay. Right now. Okay, so you don't need to worry too much about your numbers that you're hitting if you're lifting. True, yeah. but as a man, <laughs> as a man, all right, and all I right. am an old fashioned man, here we yeah. go, for you millennials out there, all right, as a man, I like to know, yeah, I've hit that number. I know. That's, it's it's almost an ego thing when it comes to, especially deadlift. I think all the other exercises... Remember, deadlift, leave the ego at the gym. That's what I tell him. When, yeah. he, when he is at Remember, the gym. Leave your ego. He is Mr. At ego. At the door, sorry. He is leave, Mr. Ego. Leave, <laughs> let's start again. Remember, leave the ego at the gym. Leave what are you telling ego, me not? <laughs> leave the ego at the door. Yeah, when you enter the gym, leave the ego at the door. Should have been outside. Yeah, outside. <laughs> you just want to lift good, right? You want to lift good. Like, so, there's when, when you're stupid, you lift bad form yeah, and you, you think you're strong. Form. That's not, I've, do you know what I mean? When so I was there, younger, I probably would have done I that. Told, I told Joe like, this yeah, thing. I could pump this man, but you're not You're I, not really strong. I, I, told, I told Joe this thing, that to be classed as strong, you need to be able to lift twice your body weight plus 10%, which we, today we worked out, it, uh, it was like, to, for Joe to do it, it'd be like 154 kilos because mm. Joe's quite light which is quite good uh, <laughs> that's it rub it in no he's, he's quite light I, I'm quite heavy like Joe what are, you, what are you like 70 kilos isn't it do you know how long it took me to get around 70, 70 kilos so he, Joe's right. around 70 kilos quite light I started at super featherweight yeah okay? I've worked my way up like, so you're not naturally supposed to be 70 kilos well <sighs> you, you, if you go by height to weight ratio as the doctors will tell you yeah They'll probably say, yeah, that's that's your normal See, so, weight, so or Joe's, maybe that's your limit. So Joe's, but you shouldn't limit yeah. limit limit yourself. Yeah. Let me get it right. Limit yourself to what uh, what, what some what, what a doctor would say. So you're, Each you're, person's different. You're seventy kilos at yeah. the moment, so you should be. And I'm t and I'm so taller. You're aiming, yeah, you're and taller. you're heavier, ninety kilos. Yeah, I'm ninety sure. kilos. So so if, just under ninety kilos. Exactly. So if a doctor would say. Well, you shouldn't be. I'm, I'm classed as uh, morbidly obese. Which, which you're not, because your fat percentage well, is nowhere near. Yeah. yeah, but to them, because they're going through what's it, the, yeah. the crappy one. That's, that's BMI. BMI. All yeah. right, they should get rid of that. So no, uh, another thing there is, don't worry about how much you weigh. If yeah. you look, if you look good, if you at fifteen stone, yeah, you're good. If you, the thing is, is, it's about health. Like if you if you are healthy at that weight, then that's fine. Because if you're if you're muscular, you're gonna be more heavy, you know. But if obviously if you've got some body fat on you, then you've got to get rid of that. Once, so BMI, yeah, that could go I, I down once, a drain. I once went to the doctor and got a, a physical just to make sure I was healthy. Um, and this is when I was weighing eighty kilos and I was lean. Um, and the doctor did, did all the checks and said literally, he goes, yeah, you're you're classified as obese. I think you need to lose weight. And that's at 80 and then, kilos. And that was at 80 kilos. That because I'm only, 80 kilos I'm under 5'6". I'm like 5'5", five, I'm like 5'5", five, five, 5 uh, tall. So, and I'm 80 kilos. So that's way over what I should be weighing by, by the BMI chart. And I was lean, uh, I was in good, sh good shape. And they said I was uh, obese. Yeah. How'd that make you feel, by the way? 
Me knowing me, that it visibly, feel, it made me feel fat. <laughs> no, it just made me think. It made me think it's quite ridiculous because I, uh, 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 like I, I just spoke to the. I, I showed the nurse. I was like, look, I'm, I'm quite lean, you know. Uh, uh, but they said, yeah, but you're technically your fast as obese. But visibly, so, you see yourself in a mirror. You know, unless you now that. I know. Now, what's that? What's that thing where you're big and you think you're small? Muscular dysmorphia. Yeah, that one. Unless you're that. So, all right. Yeah. That's a whole different other plot. I have that but, a little bit. But but. What are you talking about? You have that a little bit. <laughs> you talking about Willis? <laughs> all right, listen. All right. The point is, you look at yourself in the mirror. You know yourself. Okay, this looks good. Yeah. Yes, you could call it vanity. You could call it whatever. But you could say, I've worked for it. I've done it the right way, the natural way, and I worked hard and I look good. And then for someone to tell you, actually, mate, you're obese, is out of this world. Yeah, out of especially, order. well, the thing is, is the, the best thing to be is to be healthy. As long as you're healthy, uh, you're medically healthy. If you feel good, that's good. And as well, if you don't have that excess body fat on you and you don't have any other health concerns, then you know you're you're good. You feel good you're probably going to look good and if you look good you feel good and then it means you are good um that's There's just another a, quote he's that's, nicking someone from no i'm, I'm, not, I'm not stealing it i'm just I, i'm quoting, trying to quote, i think it's not just about physical health it's about your mental health it's about your spiritual health as well so all of that needs to be good um if one's out of out of sync if one's out of whack then it's not very good uh you know you'll have some problems just remember healthy body healthy, healthy mind, mind. <laughs> um, just to discuss, like I touched on it briefly, whatever your goal is, if you're using gym as a hobby, that's fine, use it as a hobby. If you're getting serious about your gym work, alright, and you want that aesthetic, strength, whatever you want out of it, carry on taking it seriously. Right, don't cheat yourself. Simple as that. Don't cheat yourself. Get in that gym, eat the right food. Eat well, be well, okay? Just remember, he's banging the window. Healthy body, healthy mind. We're still here. How long does it take to clear the windscreen? <laughs> Seriously, how long does it take? Not long, not long, he says. Alright, gotta go. Go hard, go home. Simple go as that.